cost volume profit analysis or cost behavior and managerial accounting. We're looking at high-low and you remember there's three steps to success. First, find the variable rate. And that variable rate is rise over run or delta y over delta x. So let's take a look at exercise four and predict the total cost for a company based upon income statements of the past. And it tells me that when the company's costs are 75,000, its sales are 80,000. So we're going to use 80,000 sales as a predictor of costs. And also, when sales are 50,000, costs are 60,000. So we've got costs in the numerator and we've got sales in the denominator because we're going to predict our total cost based upon our sales levels, which makes sense, doesn't it? So we know that delta Y over delta X or rise over run, in this case the high point of the cost minus the low point of the cost over the high point of the sales for those costs minus the low point of the sales for those costs will give me the variable rate or the slope. And so let's see, this is 15,000 over 30,000. So our costs are going to be 50% of whatever our sales are. So that's the variable rate, step one. Step two says find the fixed cost. Now how we find the fixed cost is we already have some data, don't we? And we plug the variable rate or the slope into the data we have. So if I was looking at the high point, we know that $75,000 of cost is going to be equal to 50% of sales, and at that point sales were $80,000, plus B, the variable, the fixed cost. Uh, so I could solve for B, and let's see, this would be 75000 minus 40000 so fixed cost is 35000 Or, getting to the same point, I could plug all of my data into the low point, couldn't I? And if I plugged it into the low point, let's see, $60,000 of cost is going to be equal to 50% of, let's see, sales of 50,000 plus B. So if again I solve for B, the fixed cost, I find it to be $35,000. Isn't that interesting? And then in step three it says, well, what's the cost formula? And remember, we're finding the monthly cost for this business. So the monthly cost could be expressed as 50% of sales plus, what's our fixed cost? $35,000. So that's what we mean by the cost formula. So now, could I predict my monthly cost for future uh, periods as long as I stay within um, sales levels of $50,000 to $80,000. In other words, the relevant range. Now, how is this useful to us? Well, I'm going to teach you about a new income statement. And this is called cost volume profit analysis. And this income statement says, if I know what sales are, and do you agree with me, sales are equal to 100% of sales. And in this case, minus variable costs, and I, let's see, in this case, variable cost is what? 50% of sales. That will give me what we call our contribution margin, CM, contribution margin. And my contribution margin, that means for every sales dollar, if 50% of this has to do with variable cost, then the other 50% is available for what? Fixed costs or profits. So, contribution margin is 50% of sales. So sales minus variable cost contribution margin. If I then subtract my fixed costs, I'll get my net income, won't I? So in this case, my fixed costs are, um, oh, 35,000. 
So if I wanted to find what my net income was, or if I knew the net income I wanted, say, whether it's a million dollars or just to break even, meaning net income is zero, could I find how much sales I have to generate in order to make my dream come true? And that's called cost, volume, profit analysis.